one. Welcome to the Alabama Department of Education's webcast for administrators in support of NAEP testing in mathematics. I'm Todd Beers, the Amstein Mathematics Coordinator for the State Department of Education. The purpose of this webcast is to briefly describe the importance that NAEP testing has for the state of Alabama and why we should be interested in student performance on this assessment. Also, to identify key issues that may limit Alabama's performance on the test, and to share communication from Michael Sentence that can be found in a recent memo addressing NAEP testing, which notifies you of what is provided and planned in terms of resources and support for NAEP testing in mathematics. It is of vital importance for Alabama to perform well on the National Assessment of Educational Progress, the NAEP. NAEP testing is used as the nation's report card for state-to-state -state comparisons as Alabama competes economically for dollars and for companies to locate their businesses in the Southeast. The current status of education is a main factor in determining if Alabama communities and economy will continue to prosper. Your leadership and partnership as a system which has students who will participate in the 2017 NAEP grade four and grade eight testing is key to ensure a successful outcome that will determine how Alabama is viewed in comparison to its neighboring states. Notice the final line in this Forbes ranking of the states for business and economic viability. The state offers a very pro-business incentive climate, but educational attainment ranks among the nation's lowest. In order to prepare for improved performance on the NAEP in the state of Alabama, one goal is to target NAEP standards which match what is in our course of study and on the ACT Aspire. By doing this, we are targeting something the classroom teacher values and is already working toward in his or her classroom. Sets of fourth and eighth grade items and tasks have been developed and are provided as classroom ready resources. These resources include an overview with implementation tips, the items and tasks, and answer keys. The basic idea is to equip teachers with meaningful classroom ready items and tasks to equip them to make the most from what they learn from implementing these items and tasks with students. Training and support is available in each region of the state and will be discussed in the following slides. What teacher training and support is available for NAEP Mathematics? Short, grade-specific webcasts are available online to support principals and teachers in understanding the resources that have been developed. The link is given here and in the memo. At the site, you will also be able to view this webcast for principals, which will enable you to speak knowledgeably about state efforts to support NAEP preparation in your school and across the state. You can go to the CCRS website and follow the instructions in the second bullet, or you can access the resources directly from this link. Here are more teacher training and support options available to you. Your local Amstai site director and Amstai math specialists are equipped to describe and provide support to your teachers. They will be contacting you soon if they have not done so already. 10 weeks of practice test items are available to you to use to support instruction in the classroom. These items enable students to become familiar with content in the format of testing, like multiple choice and short answer problems. There are also, there are also sets of tasks which are more rigorous and enable students to become familiar with application type problems that require multiple steps and problem solving strategies. The teacher can select items or tasks that match current content targets and incorporate them in their lessons. If content has already been addressed earlier in the school year, then the teacher can use those items or tasks for review. Content domains and course of study standards for each set of practice problems is clearly marked in the answer keys. Coming soon is information and resources for providing a mock test and last effort preparation immediately before NAEP testing takes place. Thank you for listening to this webcast. 
We need your participation and leadership to make this a success. Please direct any questions to the Alabama Department of Education using one of the following email addresses or the phone number provided on this slide. Have a great day.